So this video is about cron tab. So what is what is this cron tab and uh, cron e or cron tab e something like that. So cron tab is basically uh, used to automate the task. Like let's say that uh, you have a boring task or you have a toilet reduction. You need to do a toilet reduction. So what you do is that so every uh, what Sunday of a week and uh, four times a month. So you thought of backuping uh, every task like what you do like you don't need to lose the uh, what uh, lose the content or the lose the data which you created a whole week so what you do you uh, there is one tool called cron tab which will what automatically a uh, backup if that particular day comes in let's say that uh, today is a sunday so today is sunday like at 2 pm so uh, the script will be noted that this is a 2 pm so it will back up all the source file to the destination file so i don't i am not doing anything i'll just write a script and i'll just uh, use a cron tab that will automatically back up the first thing you need to do is that uh, okay the first thing uh, what you do is that um, okay do ls so there is nothing so i'll create one file called um, automation dot sh okay so now i'll use nano now what i do do is that i'll write a script so script is basically like this bin bash this is called shebang after that i'll say backup directory is equal to uh, let me give you a path like um, let's say okay let me uh, choose any path like uh, let me choose afterwards okay now i have choose the backup directory so now i need to write a function perform backup okay so now i need to write a function which will basically take a timestamp timestamp and then uh, which will take a date okay plus and then we need to specify uh, year month date and uh, hours minutes and seconds so percentage y okay then uh, percentage m and then percentage uh, d you need to specify y for year and m for month and d for uh, days after that uh, you need to do h capital letter h for hers and uh, capital letter M for minutes and uh, capital letter S for seconds okay so this is how you uh, do it timestamp after that you can use uh, backup uh, and file is equal to so you need to choose which file to be backed up okay so what I do is that I'll consider like this backup and then uh, directory and then what i say i need to uh, archive it so i need to archive it so i do backup and then i specify uh, what timestamp timestamp after that i use tar to archive the files okay so this is how you do it after archiving it i can display if there is any display performing backup to backup okay okay so you just uh, say that uh, I'm just performing a backup after that I'll just close it sorry I'll just come out of the uh, loop then I'll do one uh, this one is that uh, I will say date and plus percentage u and then uh, if it is equal to 7 that means 7 means uh, uh, a week okay 7 then do what i say that means perform perform backup okay after that i need to close the if loop so i did uh, close the if loop 
after that i need to do one more thing it is called if i need to write one more statement if and uh, i need to specify date and then i need to do percentage u to take uh, what as d to date and then if that equal to one if it is equal to one or dollar okay I can't actually see my uh, keyboard light light is reflecting okay okay dollar then I need to specify a date again date uh, which is uh, I need to say which is equal to 8 if it is equal to 8 and then uh, let me say that why I'm taking 1 8 uh, and let uh, the other thing will be 15 and 22 because these dates are Sunday as per uh, this month so I'm taking uh, this one or uh, these particular dates date plus percentage T okay is equal to and 15 15 and then uh, I need to do one more that will be uh, 22 uh, date plus percent HD and then I can say equal to um, 21 22 and I need to say then I need to come down Okay, after coming down uh, if this particular dates are there then perform perform backup and I need to close the if loop so what I'm saying is that I am taking a one uh, five a back path okay that will be path okay next I'm performing some operation or a function uh, what I'm saying is that take a date and uh, take a backup file then say backup directory backup directory will be this okay so uh, let me let me do this backup directory okay backup directory and then i'm taking a backup directory uh, with the dollar symbol so that i need that value right so and then i'm taking backup uh, timestamp okay backup timestamp uh, I'm, I'm actually creating one more file which is called uh, uh, backup and then I'm attaching the timestamp so so I don't need to read this particular thing I just need to archive, archive it so what I do I use star dot gz after that I'm just displaying that I'm performing a backup so if that particular uh, if that particular day is 7 that means uh, like if I take 0, 1, 2, 3, something like that, if it is 7, that will be uh, Sunday, I guess. Yeah, Sunday. Then I can perform a backup. Uh, or else, if I take a month, this month, so 1, 5, four, sorry, 1, 8, 15, and 22 will be the Sunday. So if this day is Sunday, uh, like, uh, which, which is, if it is ma matching to this 1, 8, and 15, and 22, then perform a backup. Okay, now I'll save this okay so after saving this what you need to do is that you need to click on cron tab dot sorry hyphen e so after clicking cron tab hyphen e so you need to select uh, an editors so I choose nanometer that will be perfectly good so I need to come down and then I need to do some operation so I need to do one, write one code that will be I'm saying 1 comma 0 and 1 if it is 1 or if it is 8 or if it is 15 or if it is 2 as per this month okay don't don't get confused as per this month and then I need to specify star so double star equals to star and then I need to choose the path so basically the path will be uh, home directory 
okay so the path will be home directory slash automation yeah automation dot sh right what we create okay so the first thing will be like this actually defines that like uh, if i take a uh, cron tab there is five parts okay the first part will be minutes hours uh, day of a month month day of a week so the first will be hours one hour uh, at a mid uh, at exactly one minute uh, zero means like 12 seconds uh, yeah zero means it's uh, midnight midnight meant 12 o'clock right so i'm taking zero after that i'm taking month every month so so, so sorry a day of a month i'm just this will be the day of a month uh, that will be a day of a month will be 1 8 15 and 22 so i'm considering this so this will be the hour so zero means it's a uh, midnight 12 o'clock something and uh, one is basically uh, seeing the minutes i guess yeah minutes one minute and uh, uh, zero is basically the hour and then i am specifying a day of a month yeah day of a month that will be one eight as per this month you can choose whatever you want one eight fifteen twenty twenty two and i'm not choosing any day of a uh, uh, sorry month and i'm not choosing any uh, day of a week so th this is basically it will actually uh, run every month okay so this if i press uh, save it so every sunday every sunday this script will automatically run so this is how you actually create a cron tab or an automation so that you don't don't need to uh, worry about the backup you don't need to worry about the files so this will basically uh, backup every files which you choose okay so you need to choose the source okay that, that does not mean that every ubuntu uh, data will be copied to some destination you need to choose that particular field which is important which is the that folder is important so i'm choosing that folder so you need to back up that folder to a respective uh what destination so you don't need to lose anything so this is how you create cron tab thank you for watching bye